Hello, and welcome to our lesson on short multiplication. So in this lesson, we're going to calculate the product of two or more integers using the grid method. To use the grid method, I'm going to draw a rectangle. The six will go here. And the 21, I'm going to write as 20 plus one. So the 20 will go here, and the one will go here. And now I'm going to work out the area of each section of our rectangle. It's important to understand that this isn't to scale. So we have 6 times 20 in this section, which is 120. And 6 times 1 in the other section, which is 6. The total area of our rectangle is 120 and 6, which is 126. Question B, I'm going to write 18 as 10 plus 8. So I have 4 on this side with the 10 and the 8. To work out the area of this section, I'm going to do 4 times 10, which is 40. And for this section, 4 times 8, which is 32. So the total area of a rectangle is 40 plus 32, which is 72. For question C, I'm going to break up 27 into its tens and units, which is 20 and 7. So here we have 20 and here we have 7. We have 7 going here. The area of this section is 20 multiplied by 7 and the area of the next section is 7 times 7. So here we have 140 and here we have 49. So the total area is 189. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and work out questions D and E? by pause on the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question D, I've got 5 multiplied by 17, which is 10 and 7. The area of this section is going to be 5 times 10, which is 50. And this section, which is 5 times 7, which is 35. So the total area is the sum of the 2, which is 85. For question E, we have 63, which is 60 plus 3, who plays for 8 here. The area of this section is 8 times 60, which is 480. And this section, which is 3 times 8, 24. So the total area is 480 plus the 24, which is 504. Okay. As a final challenge, do you want to try and work out question F by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question F, we need to add another row to our grid. So now we have a square. I'm going to write as 80 and 3. And 81, I'm going to write as 80 and 1. For this section, I'm going to work out 80 multiplied by 80, 8 times 8 is 64, and for two zeros, so we have 6,400. In this section, we have 80 times 1, which is 80. Here we have 80 times 3, which is 240. And here we have 3 times 1, which is 3. So our total area is 6,400 plus 240 plus the 80 plus the 3. So 6,723. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.